Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also, you need to turn off the water to the refrigerator. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the condenser fan motor blade in the Frigidaire refrigerator. It's going to be a very easy repair. It should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a quarter inch nut driver, a half inch open ended wrench, flat blade screwdriver, and a half inch socket wrench. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new condenser fan motor blade. The condenser fan motor blade is installed on the condenser motor shaft inside the machine compartment. When the motor is on, the blade pushes air over the compressor and condenser coils, cooling them down. If one of the blade's pedals cracks or breaks off, the condenser motor will start making noise and may eventually break down. So, if you hear any strange noises coming from the back of the refrigerator, don't waste time. Check and replace the condenser fan motor blade if needed. We need to remove this rear access panel. It's held in place by uh, four quarter inch screws. And I'm using a quarter inch nut driver. I'm going to remove it by taking the screws one by one. All right, so I'm going to place the towel here under the water valve. Now I'm going to use the half inch open end wrench and I'm going to unscrew the water inlet line. Make sure the water is shut off at the water supply before you undo this nut. Lift up on the nut and pull the water line. And we had some water coming out. No big deal. And remove the towel. Now we can pull off the rear access panel. This is the condenser fan motor blade that we need to remove and replace. In our case, it's already broken out of the shaft, but if you still have to remove it from the shaft, use a flat blade screwdriver and pry it off by pushing it out of the shaft. So next, we'll be taking off those three screws that hold the motor to the bracket and taking the motor out. The old cooler inch. I'm using this uh, quarter inch socket wrench. All right, so we need to free the blade completely from the motor shaft. I'm going to push it down a little bit, turn it, and we can put the motor down. Next, we need to remove this plastic retainer. So I'm going to open the tab with a flat blade screwdriver. And remove it from the coil. And then from the housing, put it aside, and now we can remove the blade. As you can see, it's broken. This is the old condenser fan motor blade next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from AppliancePartsPros.com. So we're going to bring a new blade in. Obviously, it goes in this way, so we can put shaft right in this opening. Slide it in. And then we're going to work out the motor into its position. And the blade, you know, install the motor. We need to match the holes and put screws in. And I use this uh, quarter inch socket wrench. All right, now I'm gonna install the blade on. Hold the blade with one hand and uh, place that on the motor shaft. Then uh, using the second hand with the flat blade screwdriver, I am going to push that blade onto the shaft. Now we can install this retainer clip. One end goes on the fan housing, and the other end is on the coil. 
Now we're going to install the rear access panel back. All right, now we can install the water line back onto the valve. Press the line in. And then we're going to manually tighten that nut as far as it goes. Now I'm going to use these uh, half inch open on the range and I'm going to tighten it. Do not over tighten. That would be plenty enough. And now we're going to secure the reaction panel with the screws. Let's align the holes. And then using a quarter inch nut driver, I'm going to install four quarter inch screws to secure the rear access panel. Plug the fridge in, open the water, and check if there are any leaks. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other videos available on our site, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram.